Local parents are worried about their children and exposure to radiation in schools. At certain doses, microwave radiation, the same type emitted from wireless technology, it can be harmful. So, question is, is the Wi-Fi being pumped out of transmitters in schools a health threat to our kids? WUSA 9's Mola Lange with us now. And Mola, you talk with parents and Montgomery County school officials tonight. So what's their feeling on this? Uh, well, the parents who I spoke with say that they're concerned and convinced that their kids are being exposed to just far too much radiation. Meanwhile, the school system says that their classrooms are in fact safe. There's something in the air. These Montgomery County school parents say it's radiation and it's in their kids' classrooms. Yeah, you see you get closer, it gets worse. So if their heads are here, it's definitely less. If you're a teacher, it's about here. Wireless routers are installed in the ceilings of MCPS classrooms. Now the number of routers in a school depends on that school, but they range from a couple dozen routers to a hundred. This is not a transmitter that would be in your home. It's much stronger. It can handle up to 200 laptops. Meeting Tuesday night to discuss the risks, these parents want to go back to hardwired systems. You have so many streams of radiation going at the same time. So it's just this classroom and then the next classroom and then the next one. And then sometimes they're in the hallways and in the cafeteria and in the media centers. Montgomery County Public Schools tells WSA 9 these parents are showing a quote, lack of understanding of how cell towers and Wi-Fi hotspots work, close quote, and that MCPS, quote, will continue to monitor and follow the credible findings and recommendations of the FCC and World Health Organization, close quote. The WHO classifies 287 items as possibly carcinogenic to humans, everything from diesel fuel and lead to coffee and pickled vegetables. Seriously. The FCC guidelines that they refer to are outdated. They're from 1996. It was the last time they were reviewed. More than 20 countries and some U.S. cities have already started limiting Wi-Fi exposure in classrooms. When in doubt, throw it out. And when it comes to their kids, these parents say they take no chances. We don't really know what years of exposure will mean, and our children will have a lifetime of exposure. So it seems like it would make sense to reduce it whenever we can. Uh, radiation tests conducted by the Montgomery County uh, Public Schools in two schools uh, earlier this year did meet FCC guidelines. But again, some parents uh, do say that these guidelines are 20 years old and a little, a little out of date. Live in Montgomery County, I'm Mola Lange for WSA 9. Seems to be an issue that is picking up momentum. Mola, thank you. Well, Montgomery County school leaders say in order to keep classroom learning innovative, they have to use mobile technology.